Why do they call it baptism by fire when up in the fire of out hot beat the buff baptism by fire? I mean, questions to ask, am I right? Welcome back to another episode of the Binding of Isaac Repentance Challenges. In the last episode, we showed off Bloody Mary. And in this episode, we're doing Baptism by Fire. Now, Baptism by Fire is a blindfolded challenge. What fun! And this one requires you to use the Spirit's Jar. You're also stuck with a backpack and Guppy's Paw because you will probably need it if you aren't careful with how you're firing your shots out like this. So the main gimmick of this challenge is that, well, your only method of attack is through your item of the spirit jar. This is where you'll get your flames to actually use. Oh, look at Buki. You also start off with Maggie's Faith, so every floor you... Wow, you're gonna give me a method of attack right off the bat as a random thing. <laughs> what? Okay, video game. You are too nice to me. Thank you very much. So yes, if you didn't get something like this showing up for you, the main reason of attack is you have to collect the souls from your enemies. And that's what charges up your baptism of fire, your spirit jar. And the maximum amount of spirits you can hold in your jar is 20. It basically works similarly to the jar of flies item that we've seen beforehand, which is also a pretty good item on its own. And mini bosses and stuff like that often give you a couple more spirits than you would expect. Now, the fact that I have health or uh, a firing familiar such as Brother Bobby means that I could actually get rid of the guppy's paw if I wanted to. However, at the same time, I believe that would hinder the chances of getting other guppy transformations. However, I don't feel like that's too big of a loss. Am I right? Don't need the strange blue key. I I, there is a method of, that's something to do with yeah you can open locked doors without needing keys I'm pretty sure that's what that item is it's nothing that I'm too unfamiliar with it's you and your fancy new look I just love how it ends like that thank goodness that they updated the sprites that they gave contact bombs a thing just I never really liked the contact bombs from this form like it had no reason for the bombs to be doing damage to you, but now that they are visibly made as fire bombs, they make a lot more sense. So yes. Now that you know, the more the merrier. Oh, okay. So yeah, if I wanted to have more firepower on my own, I could just swap over to Big Guppy's Paw and collect more soul hearts by sacrificing one of my regular hearts. Which you know I've already explained, but just gonna keep it out there in front of you. And if not that, then you just gotta meander about hoping to get more souls every now and then. Oh, what's this one? Oh, Reverse Chariot. Nice. That one stops you in place. Simple enough. Now, the unlock for this challenge is Purgatory. And Purgatory is an item that we may not see anytime soon however there's a character that I've downloaded as a mod that has purgatory built into him and you'll find out what that's all about soon but the basic gist of purgatory is that when you step into a room with enemies a crack in the ground will spawn randomly around the room and if you walk over that crack in the ground it will spawn a spirit that will home in on a random enemy and explode onto the enemy. They don't do like regular bomb explosions, however they will do like pulse explosions and they do a set amount of damage and they're usually enough to take out regular mooks here and there. And it's quite a handy item to have, especially for uh, things like Lost, who can rely on, you know, shielding himself and not doing too much in the offensive side of things and can just run around hoping to not be uh, caught off guard by things. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 I think I can do this. Just like that. Beautiful. Very nice. Range down. Oh, God. Didn't realize that the jar was still held open. That's not very nice. Oh, right. I took the damage, and that was because it was the, um, the Maggie's Faith giving me an eternal heart, so that's why the Devil Chance didn't go down. I was wondering what was going on with that. 
it was not anything to be worried about. And as you can see on the side there, and I probably might have said, but I don't remember off the top of my head, uh, your end goal is the uh, Isaac himself. So you got to go all the way to the cathedral. Simple enough, I guess. And we got someone playing video games. Very nice. Over the chariot. There's the going. Appreciate playing video games, am I right? Been able to play a couple of video games with other people as of late. I've been playing pre-sequel with someone who's had a wonderful time playing it. And then I've also played a bit of Portal 2 with a friend. <laughs> who's been referenced every now and again. And yeah, he's enjoyed it. We still need to get the um, last couple of chapters in the co-op testing initiative done. We did finish the excursion funnels. So it's just gel and... No, we, we, we got to the excursion funnels. It's just the excursion funnels and the gels that's left to be done. And then maybe the DLC, artistic chapter, whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. And I also wonder if that's in the um, Switch version. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, buddy. That wasn't very nice of you. Yeah. Fun of a life. Oh, yeah. Any other things? I mean, don't starve us from on the table for uh, potential things to play with those friends. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't. I gotta re-download Don't Starve anyway. I'm not sure why I was doing that, but hey. Nice squid wand. It's always nice to see him. I have... I don't know if that's gonna entirely work when I get there, but... You know, if I hold on to this inverse chariot until getting to... Whatever. No panic button, right? I forgot I had the, um... Spiked chest or special chest, um, unique loot pools mod on, which is just a general decent mod to have. Nothing too, like, busted. It's just a nice thing to see here and there, because you've got to find the chest to begin with in order to get the chance to find them. So it's not going to be an overpowered thing, it's just that you'll get theme stuff here and there. Once you find one of those kind of chests, hello, spiders. Hello again. I'm gonna take it, whatever. It's a bop of bladder, creepy bonds. Not very useful in the long run. There we do have the full amount of souls in reserve. Thanks to everyone being wonderful. So nice of them. You guys too. Wait. Oh, my foot is asleep. <laughs> How dare my foot become asleep? I don't want to be in such an uncomfortable position, but I need a goddamn actual chair, or maybe a better setup for this. Yes, 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 I could just use other things and actually be a good content creator and record using regular normal methods. However, no is my answer. That's what I'm choosing. Whatever, am I right? Hello, wretched. Well, that would be ran just as soon as I saw that. It's just wretched things, you know? Wretched is annoying. I think if I had used the spirit jar on that cloud of poison, it would have exploded. Because that's the thing with Repentance. They put in detail with some of those things. You find a fumy cloud and then you light it on fire and it becomes, you know, explosive. That's how Tainted Blue Baby functions with some of his stuff. You know the deal, right? Just become Blue Baby. Hello, Arcade. Ooh, shoot the whoop. It's not worth it in the slightest. It's funny of him to assume that he wants to be used, but you know how it is. That one's a champion, even though he's so small. A couple of souls there. Good to have. Hey, the spin. That happens sometimes, too. Um, the way that these um, souls fly towards you is kind of the similar way in how the purgatory ghosts fly towards enemies. They have that trail behind them and everything. So that's one thing to note. Ooh. Let's see if we get better luck than the previous video with this bedroom. Yes, it's better enough. Go, lie on the bed. Z -z -z -z. Remember that classic clip? Classic clip. Why is there a picture of crap here? Oh god. 
very classy. I still think that's kind of fun. Because it was basically similar to what happened with the Repentance Day 1 stream. Which is, I need to get back to streams. I teased that, hey, I want to get back into streams. And I want to know what I want to do. And I've had plans and streams for a long time. It's just the fact that I need to get my ass into gear and become ready to start to it again. But, nah. Well, you know, maybe my schedule's opened up now. Who knows? Uh, you. Something. Just gotta play this one slower than usual. Do it like this. There. Find five pills. You know what it's like. Hey, head through here. There's a shop to find out what's in here. There's something good. It might be. Right for the spirits. And an extra penny. Very good. Very good of it to be like this. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Can't believe whether Bobby's not good. Well, he's alright, you know. He's not the best familiar in the game. But he sure as hell can't be the best one. I don't know what I'm saying. Better than nothing, am I correct in assuming so? Whatever. Maybe this is the reason why I don't record too much. Because I'm running out of things, even though there's plenty of things I could be saying. But I also just need to learn to myself, and I keep saying this to myself, that maybe you should just let the silence fill out some of the things anyway, let the game speak for itself here and there. But hey, whatever. And going back to the stream thing, that's kind of the thing I want to do. Because one of the plans for those streams will absolutely be doing um, Danganronpa S, continuing on from where I was and doing some more blindish stuff, blind reactions to it. Because, you know, now, after the exclusivity of it being part of Decadence, or on its own, if you get it just from the store itself, um, it's now on Steam to pick up, if you so desire. And you can do it. <laughs> you're, 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 you're funny, video game, you're funny. And uh, apparently when uh, DRS first released on Steam, that was a loading bug with the opening loading screen just kind of endlessly loaded forever very sad but whatever i'm pretty sure i just pulled the laptop very slightly just then i could be wrong but it's just what i feel like happened just then because it looks slightly different and i'll only find out once the video is done and i look at it in editor other guys over here just hiding around you up here there's some spiders I can barely see. Hey, and a key. Where to go? Where to go? Over here is a way to go. You guys are sufficient enough for giving spirits. How very nice of them. You too, buddy. Thanks. I really could just be using the thing more often. Let's find out together what this is. King baby! It stands still. Okay. I think that the King Baby also was changed in Repentance so that it gains a fire rate bonus to your familiars. I might be wrong on that. But that sounds correct to me. Oh no, that's what it is. It doesn't matter what direction you face. Uh, King Baby familiars will target enemies. You can see right there, I'm just holding to the right and yet... The brother Bobby is firing in all directions. How very handy for that to be incorporated as a feature. However, that's not where I am needing to be. Over here, I assume. It's better. No? It's crap. There's a burnt penny over there. It's not the best penny. It also can't be the worst. It's how burnt pennies are. Be, be smart over your words, Joshua. Be good. Got the nine spirits in your jar. This guy is probably gonna supply some spirits. 
so I did waste a couple of them. Hey look, it's a golden draw bomb. Nice to see you, to see you nice. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine if that happened to me right then. Being stupid like that. Hmm. Can't wait to be stupid again when it comes to Tainted Lost. Although, to be fair, the one thing I'm not looking forward to doing again of all of the Tainted characters is Tainted Lazarus. Because why? He shouldn't be that slow, and yet he is. But the way he plays his video game, just a somehow incredibly slow character. Because of his changing, changing, changing face. He just changes too much. Oh, he should be less changing, you know? The usual thing that people complain about. <laughs> Being different. I don't know. I'm just saying words at this point. Whether it's useful or not, it's up to you to decide. Oh, is that a golden penny? It is! How many extra pennies am I getting? Just three. Hmm. It's just the usual deal. Can get rid of you. Ah! Dickhead. Dickhead! Please! He died. He died. There we go. There's nothing. Oh, big ass room. Feathers were coming towards me, at least. So I know- oh, almost didn't see him. No, there he is. Now I can see him. Uh, that's only a thing that applies to me with how things look. It only applies to me. Oh, there is a door over there. I just haven't gone that way. Now are you gonna be enough? Ow! Dickhead. Twice. So very good. Guy's a champion, you know that. Could have gone right in there to deal the damage if needed. And she did. Wow. Go back to him. I'm leaving that penny behind. Screw pennies. Don't need them. I can handle things all by myself. And by the way, there isn't even going to be any uh, actual shops that are worth my while in the future. Is that my cage? Oh no, I was wrong. Because that cloud is not affected. Come on, buddy. I want you to stand there and stay still. Take the bomb. It was not close enough. Mm-hmm. Gonna spend my time doing nothing. I could have also just been stupid and saved the soul hearts for using them all for Bob's brain. Or well, Bob's head. I did not do that though. That's my problem. So my reliance are the brother Bobby and the bombs that I have. Stand still for a second, partner. Okay, thanks. Oh, a single soul. Single soul, please. It worked. And it wasn't enough, because I was stupid. Eight souls, right? I think it, 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 um, it scales, depending on how far down you are, with how many souls you get from a boss. That sounds correct. Don't look if you're wrong. I'm not the smartest guy. But I do know a lot. Curse of the Unknown. Hello, triple of you. Burn you all. What are you? Pretty fly. Very pretty. Not you either. Never you were enough. Shot speed up, because that's gonna definitely help when it comes to blindfolded challenges. Ah. <sighs> Never forget, skip the tutorial. <laughs> I keep going back to my Celeste video where I talked about that goddamn challenge because it's such a noteworthy challenge that's kind of idiotic in the eyes of an expert like me. In quotes, expert, because I'm still terrible. It took me 600 hours to get everything in Repentance, by the way. And that's double my time in the game itself. Just gotta remind you of that. But yeah, like, just seeing 
that's getting a tutorial video on beating uh, the beating the game without shooting tears, and it's like there are eight or nine challenges that are about being blindfolded, and Lilith exists, who is also blindfolded. Yes, technically, you are not the one firing the tears in that instance, but all the same. It's still a blindfold. And that's the main thing too, how blindfolds exist. And then you also rely on, you know... <laughs> you rely on Pyro and you didn't pick up remote detonator! What the fuck, idiot? And then you still go to mom! Of all things, a mom! That's not the whole game. <laughs> There's still plenty more. Also... Also... There are a few other things in Repentance specifically. That are about not firing tears because technically you play as the soul for Tainted Forgotten and the soul doesn't fire tears. It's only the, the body that does the work of attacking for you. You have to pick that sucker up and fly all over the place in order to actually use it. And that's the best part. Grab you, maybe there's an extra card in it, that's good. Hi Priestess. Fancy that. Ooh, it's blank. Let's get out of jail free. And the world! Open up my eyes and see. Well, it's down there. This one has a chest room up there, and I don't want to go there. Because I feel like it's not going to be entirely worth my time going to that chest room. Oh, you pulled again, Joshua! You pulled the card again! And you already knew it that time because you said it out loud. <sighs> Idiot. But yeah, how you are. You know, we're all stupid in our own ways. Mm. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> speed up. Cool. It's always good to have speed. Any little way. Mother! Hey, some poison. Better than nothing. Use the right thing for once. There you go. And then you take the enemies and mom spawns out and use them as your sole ammunition. Your sole firepower. That's called a pun, ladies and gentlemen, bros. Enjoy that right in front of you. Right there. Thank you for the mother boom. The mother goon for being a wonderful source of souls that I needed. It's ready for a temporary moment in time! No oh, shit! That was dangerous. Part late. You as well. Man, this is tense-ish. It's not the best fight in the world. I also don't know how much health I am at, and it's going to get a lot worse by the time I go down floors. See, there you go. I still had health to heal, at least. I mean, why wouldn't I have health to heal, right? You've taken damage. God, my fucking leg. I can't lean on that bitch. I <sighs> just got to deal with it. One and a half. Okay. I would have been dead if I had taken more damage. It doesn't matter if I can't see, because it's the whole point of this curse. So this is a, a respite kind of floor. And I see those broken stuff. Oh, rotten heart, nice. So it's still going to take away all things, if I'm not smart. There we go. That's all hot. Cool. Extra. It seemed like for a second there was something extra, but the boss is right here. Loki! Oh god, I didn't see the other one. Where are they? There's one there. Murder! Oh, jeez. That, that worked quite well. However... Hey! And the angel room. Wow. Little bit of aerium. Hey, it's mini it's mini Bethany! That's the incubus, isn't it? Yeah! That's the happy at work. Very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna fucking stand up. I, I need to just be a man and stand up for long periods of time. I'll be delirious. Stupid idiot. You to work too! Up here, blast assists. And some of our enemies too. We'll see what's in that room right there. Because I feel like there's got to be something cool in there. Go, Delirium! Yes! 
Oh, delirium. One of these I'm not familiar to have. Oh, I thought for a second I had one key, but now this is so hard that I have. Useless penny, useless penny. Some brims. Brim spiders. You know how they are. It's actually very nice. Just gotta pay more attention. No, no, I've definitely not run out of things to say, but also... Definitely just felt something fall over my feet. It's not, I know what it is, I just can't pay any mind to it right now. Go, meat boy! Yeah, give me them souls! I'm relying on you to do everything! Ah, oh, shit. It doesn't matter. It's the meat boy. I want a boom fly now. BBF. Oof. Right as soon as I activate the thing. God! Please! Open up your face. I just wanted to use it once. Jesus Christ. Thank goodness. Got a long way to walk back. Quite long indeed. Well, not too long. Just gotta figure out where to go next after that. Oh, look, it's a room of people. Oh, and I forgot that once um, you have that, they kind of automatically charge and fire for you. That's very nice of King Baby to do that for the familiars here. Oh, and there was um, a charm, charming poop from uh, Little Blue Barbie. That was good. I'll check. Oh, it's because it was um, an enemy's attack. Don't forget that one. Don't mind my mysteriousness and um, mistaken things. Just trying to remember the true intricate uh, synergies between all these items at once. But you know, there's a bunch of them. You gotta forget some of them every now and then. And it's the trinkets too, like trinkets are the one thing that I can never truly remember what everything does. Though I think I do know what most of them do. And it's items though, I can look at an item and uh, surmise what the item does pretty well, I feel. Probably not always. Ugh. What are you doing? Put the right thing. Fire! There you go, that's fire for you. This is why the Spirit Jar is quite good. And why you should hold on to it in future runs if you find it. But you gotta get good first and do Bethany Unlocks. I'm pretty sure it's Bethany Unlocks. This is, I don't think I've mentioned it. I might have mentioned it in a previous video, but I don't think I have. But it's surprising just how many good unlocks that Jacob and Esau have, despite how frustrating they are, which... You know, makes sense. It's the same thing with the Lost and his Godhead unlock. But Jacob and Esau have quite a lot of good things hiding behind them. They have Birthright hiding behind them. They have um, Jacob's Ladder hiding behind them. Uh, they have um, Red Soup hiding behind them. And Damocles as well. It's just a bunch of interesting good items that they have. You know what, this is my video, why not just go fully in depth on the Jacob B. Saw unlocks, let's do this. Primarily I should mention the Mom's Heart and Mega Satan unlocks, which are Double Baby and Illusion Baby respectively. Both are co-op babies if you're ever going to have a friend join you in the middle of a run, otherwise they're just blase unlocks to really keep it consistent between all characters. Nothing too important there. Red Stew is a temporary damage bonus that drains over time, however you can keep it for a little longer for killing enemies. It's great to find in a shop and then keep it for as long as you can, and finding the recipe for obtaining King can end up being ridiculous. The Stairway is very effective for when you're going for Mega City unlocks, since it allows you not to worry about trying to spawn angel rooms to the run. At the beginning of each floor, a ladder will spawn, which will take you to a special shop that has an angel statue in it. Therefore, you can get some guaranteed angel items to keep these as soon as you can. Damocles has a lot of potential if you have the skill to use it. It will spawn an extra item pedestal wherever it can for the rest of the run, however, taking damage will add a chance for the sword to drop and instantly kill Isaac, a chance increasing with the more hits taken. In other words, a direct bonus for the lost ones. Birthright is a special case where it has a different effect depending on whichever character picks it up. Each of these effects are varied and helpful towards the gimmicks of each character and is very well for mocking as soon as you can. Inner Child and Genesis are both home themed items for the unlocks for Greed Mode. Inner Child is a free extra life that shrinks you when reviving which can be found in the Tater Character Closet after unlocking them. And Genesis will send you to a bedroom and take away all of your items that you've collected and will then give you a selection of 3 items per item removed from the same pool as a removed item. This way you can completely change up your run and make it look a lot more promising. 
Banish into him, we'll clone a boss one encountering one, and we'll drop an extra item once defeated. Pretty simple challenge item, not much more to add there. Suplex will let you dash towards and grab an enemy, aim for an area, then suplex them and cause a small shockwave. This can be performed on most enemies in the game, and scales depending on how healthy an enemy ends up being. And magic skin is a cursed item that will generate an item in whatever room you're standing in at the cost of turning one of your hearts into a broken heart. You know, way to remove those is for confessionals, so you're more often than not sacrificing health in order to get some guaranteed item pools in your runs. It's also cursed since it will gradually take over other items showing up the more you use it. I, f I feel like I'm forgetting one. Oh yeah, friend finder. Using it will summon a monster that will follow your movements and will attack when you attack. Which can be useful if it gives you a good monster like the bees, but more often than not you won't get anything good, so I don't think it's the best uncle possible for Jacob and Ezel. Okay, fine, I'll save the best for last. Rock Bottom is a rock that you find which will prevent any stats from lowering for the rest of the run. If you get a temporary boost to a stat, it will become permanent with the rock. Thanks to this interaction method, finding the best meta items like Mutant Spider, Polythemus, and Soy Milk makes them functionally way better thanks to being solely the buffs and none of the nerves. Now I wonder if you noticed the caveat to this item with the explanation. See, the only way you will benefit out of rock bottom is if it's found as soon as possible. Finding it at the end of a run will be pointless as you'll end up with hardly any benefits being kept from previously acquired items. And then there's just unlocking the tainted character himself. You know, that's the only thing really. Now that about sums everything up, sorry for the interruption. Back to the video. Ay ay ay. Thank you very much. It's all I need to see. So I have no map, so I need to feel my way around to actually try and get to where the boss is, where Isaac happens to reside. Then I'll actually use the thing. Here's the fun thing about Envy. <laughs> Just all the souls. And there's Shoot the Whoop again. Trying to be cute. Though I think it's a one charge room, I think, so maybe that would have been better to hold on to instead of Bob's brain. However, I don't know. So often I get to see these new enemies, and I'll be seeing them a, a bunch more when I get to Repentance on the Switch because of all the extra paths I have to do instead of just starting from end game. You know how it is. But technically, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but in technicality, I have done 3 million percent for Binding of Isaac. Done it 100% on Steam, and I've done it twice 100% on the Switch. And then by the time Repentance comes, hopefully the save files that I have are shared over to it. And then if that's the case, then I will probably do a completely fresh save and do everything Repentance. Because I'm a bastard that doesn't know the meaning of giving up. And that should be fun to get through once it gets here, of course, because it's still a long ways away. To when it'll actually get here. I wish I knew, but I don't know. And that's the main problem. Oh god. Little mini Loki. There's a mini battery in there too. I see you. You're a big boy. Oh. Come on, big. Big ghost candle. Joshua! Joshua! <laughs> Come on! Of all the things to run into, and you run into a, a, a poxy fire, a, a poxy, a pox on your family. It's not on you, it's not on your cow, it's not on your whole franchise. Whatever the hell the rest of that quote is. It's been a monster to take me on. Details! Details! That was Baptism by Fire. And in the next episode, we'll be doing the old path, baby! The old path is where we'll be going, because we'll be doing Isaac's Awakening. And this one's gonna be fun to do, because you get... A sword! Go get your sword! So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of Baptism by Fire. I'll see you in the next one. And whether I'll have a positive win to loss ratio on these challenges is up to fate. However, I'm pretty sure that that's never gonna be happening. Hooray!